Hi everyone, Greg from Greg Knoll Photography here. So I'm going to jump right in with my very first video outside of my introduction with a question that I get a lot from people who see my photos of the Milky Way night sky. And that question is, but I've never seen the Milky Way look like that. It doesn't look like that in real life. That has to be Photoshop. That can't be real. Those kind of questions come up a lot when we, do, when we deal with night sky photography. So to answer that question, I'm going to say yes, mostly you're right. The Milky Way doesn't look like that in real life, but I am going to show you exactly what it looks like in real life and why it looks different when you see photos of it. So I'm going to jump right into Lightroom here. So as you can see, this black and white image is what the Milky Way would look like in real life. And this is what it looks like when it's finally processed. So I'll go through the whole process now of how we got to that. Back to what it looks like in real life. It looks like this for two reasons. The primary reason is in the dark, our eyes can only see in black and white. We don't see color. So when it's really dark, we're looking at the sky, it looks black and white. So on a really dark night, once our eyes are fully adjusted, if I were to look in the direction of the Milky Way on, on clear skies where there's no light pollution, this is what I would see. So I can clearly make it where the Milky Way is and frame my image up along those lines. Now, if you're somewhere where there's a lot of light pollution, you might have trouble seeing this much. But where I am, I'm fortunate to have some quite dark skies, so I have no trouble finding the Milky Way in the night sky. The other thing is cameras see different than your eyes. They, they are more sensitive. They can gather more light, especially during a long exposure, like a 30 second exposure. So what does the camera actually see? This image is what the camera actually photographed that night. Now I use a really high ISO, which is the sensitivity on the sensor, and a 30 second exposure. So all the light coming into that sensor over the course of 30 seconds. And this is what we gathered. Now of course, this looks quite bright. So if I were to make a few minor adjustments here, bring down the exposure a bit, bring up my contrast, and now we're seeing it starting to look like a lot of the Milky Way photos you see online. So there's not a lot of processing done to it. There's nothing added or taken out. This is just a little bit of adjustments. And there you go. So that's how most photos look. Now the other question that comes up quite often is, well, what color is the Milky Way? Because you will see a lot of people post Milky Way photos that look very blue, quite like this some even more blue than that, and others that post them that look very much warmer, or even a magenta look. And the reason you see so many different styles of the Milky Way is because we don't know what the Milky Way looks like to our own eyes. It's, as I mentioned earlier, we see in black and white in the dark. And a lot of people argue that well, the sky is blue, therefore the night sky should also be blue. But the reason the sky is blue is because the, the bright light, white light from the sun gets filtered coming across the sky. And as it's filtered by other particles in the sky, um, the, the wavelengths of the light get redirected and the blues make it to our eyes first, therefore the sky looks blue. But there's no bright sun at night to cause for all that light to be filtered. There's very little light at all. So if we look closely at a lot of stars, stars have their own color. Depending on the star and the temperature of that star, they can have a variety of different colors. So if we go down here, now we pan through, you can see that some of these stars here there's a little bit of blue, some yellows. Let's go over to some of these other stars over here in the sky. And you'll see very quickly that different stars are different colors. And this depends on the temperature of the star. Yellow, blue, that kind of type of thing. So I tend to focus my Milky Way photos more along so I can get a variety of different colors in the stars. But it also depends on my mood. Sometimes I might want a bit of a cooler looking image. Other times I want, might want to add a bit more magenta. That's the lovely thing with the night sky is because there's no right answer, even the scientists are debating the actual color, 
there's a lot of room for interpretation and your own personal feel to the to the image and how you want it to look or feel. So there's no real right or wrong answer to how the night sky should look. A lot of people will try to balance everything out so that there's a good balance of greens, blues, and reds. So we go back here. We just do some minor adjustments here. You can see here we increase the saturation a lot. There's a good balance of yellow, purple, blue. And then when you bring down your saturation, it looks fairly natural. Your blacks are looking pretty black. Dark parts of the sky look pretty dark. Um, and then if you bring down your darks even more, well, now you have a fairly natural looking image. So that's how the Milky Way is processed in basic terms. And that is why when you go out at night, this is what you will see. All, it's hard to see because your eyes aren't fully bring in all of that light and all of that, that information. But you can see it with your own eyes if you go out and you're in a dark place and you stay off your phone for long enough. So I hope that answers your question. And of course, if you have any other questions, be sure to let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more questions and quick summaries like this. Cheers.